blessed are they that search out his testimonies with their whole heart shall they seek after him. How alive canst thou die or abide in a grave? For thou dost destroy the kingdom of death, O Lord, and thou raisest up the dead of Hades realm. For they that work iniquity have not walked in his ways. Now we magnify thee. commandments that we should keep them most diligently. Thou who didst establish the earth's bounds dost now dwell in us more grievous that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. O my dear Christ Jesus, King and Ruler of all, why to them that dwelt in Hades is thou descend? Was it not to set the race of mortals free? Then shall I not be ashamed when I look on all thy commandments. Lo, the sovereign I will confess thee with uprightness of heart when I have learned the judgments of thy righteousness. In a grave they laid thee, O my life and my Christ. Yet behold, thou by thy death, death is stricken down, and thou pourest forth life streams for all the world. I will keep thy statutes, do not utterly forsake me. Thou o Shall a young man correct his way by keeping thy word? Lo, how fair his beauty, never man was so fair. Yet how doth he see my dead man bereft of form? Though all nature's beauty had him as its source. With my whole heart have I sought after thee, cast me not away from thy commandments. How could he deserve? My heart have I hid thy sayings that I might not sin against thee. O oh, my sweet Lord Jesus, my salvation, my light, how art thou now hid within a dark sepulchre? Lo, thy burial surpasseth human speech. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Angel kind, O oh Master, Have I declared all thy judgments of thy mouth? Lo, how strange these wonders, deeds amazing and new. For the giver of my life is born lifeless forth by the hands of weeping Joseph to his rest. In the way of thy testimonies have I found delight as much as in all riches. O Christ Jesus, Savior. will I ponder and I will understand thy way. Unto all creation was thou made known, O Christ, as the true King of the firmament and the earth, even though thou wast enclosed in a small grave. On thy 
thy statutes will I meditate, I will not forget thy words. When, O Christ, our Maker, thou wast laid in thy tomb, the foundation stones of Hades with ruin shook, and the graves of mortal men were opened wide. Give reward unto thy servant, quicken me, and I will keep thy words. He that wondrous things out of thy law. Thou my life, O Savior, from corruption destroys, having died and therefore dwelling among the dead, and to shatter the strong bolts of Hades hold. I am a sojourner on the earth, hide not from me thy commandment. As a soul hath longed to desire thy judgments at all times. Nicodemus, Joseph, and the bodiless host come together now to bear thee the infinite in their arms into a narrow grave of stone. Thou hast rebuked the proud, cursed are they that decline from thy commandments. By thy willing death and contempt, for after thy testimonies have I sought. By thy willing passion, all creation was changed, for it knew thee, O my Jesus and Word of God, as its Savior and Redeemer from all death. Four princes said, and they spake against me, but I thy servant pondered on thy statue. Testimonies are my meditation, and thy statutes are my counselor. Thou, O Christ, was buried in a tomb newly made, thus renewing the whole nature of mortal man, by arising from the dead as God in truth. My soul hath cleaved unto thy earth, quicken me according to thy word. Thou, O Master, came in. that thou hast heard me teach me thy statutes. Oh, the earth was troubled and it trembled with fear, and the morning star a word hid its brilliant rays, when they hid thee in the earth, O oh, most great light. Make me to understand the way of thy statutes, and I will ponder on thy wondrous works. As a mortal Savior, My soul has slumbered from despondency, strengthen me with thy words. Thy pure mother weeping bitter tears over thee. O my Jesus, O my Savior, she cried to thee. O my son, how can I lay thee in the grave? Remove from me the way of unrighteousness, and with thy law have mercy on me. I have 
chosen the way of truth in thy judgments, have I not forgotten? Savior, thou wast hidden neath the earth like a sun, and was covered as with shrouds by the night of death. But more radiantly do thou arise, O Lord. I have cleaved to thy testimonies, O Lord, put me not to shame. As the moon doth cover Commandments have I run when thou didst enlarge my heart. O oh, my life, Christ Savior, having tasted of death, thou hast freed all mortal men from the bonds of death. Wherefore now thou grantest life unto our race. Set before me a law, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I will seek after it continually. By thy death. it with my whole heart. Seeing thee, O Savior, lying dead for our sakes, though now at the cost of heaven were sore amazed, and their faces did they cover with their wings. Guide me in the path of thy commandments, for I have desired it. In thy death, O Logos, Joseph, take thee. Pierced by the spear, thou didst pour forth life 
Lord, keep thy law continually forever and unto the ages of ages. Stretched upon the blessed tree, the Lord Jesus did make all men one, and when thy life-giving sight was pierced, thou is shed forgiveness on the race of man. And I walked in spaciousness, for after thy commandments have I sought. testimonies before kings and I was not ashamed. As one died, O oh Jesus, thy good pleasure it was to descend beneath the earth and to lead again from the earth to heaven those who fell therefrom. And I meditated on thy commandment which I have greatly loved. Though all sweet is Jesus commandments which I have loved. Though we see the as dead, yet thou livest as God, and hast give no life to mortal men who had died. Hence my deadness hast thou thereby put to death. And I pondered on thy statue. servant wherein thou hast made me to hope. I adore thy passion, thine entombing I praise, and I magnify thy might, O the friend of man. From corruptive passions have they set me free. This hath comforted me in my humiliation, for thine oracle hath quickened me. A sword flashed against thee, Exceedingly, but from thy law have I not declined. When the youth that bear thee saw them slaying her love, overcome by grievous torment, she wailed aloud and moved all the flock to join her bitter cry. I remembered thy judgments of old, O Lord, and was comforted. Though thou art now
portion, O Lord, I said that I would keep thy law. O blood guilty people in land Israel, how could he redeem more robbers that lawless thief, and deliver up the Savior to the cross? I entreated thy countenance with my whole heart, have mercy on me according to thy word. Feedback to thy testimony. Don't you dread it, Hades? Thou descendest toward in obedience to thy Father's will, O Lord, and didst raise up all the race of mortal men. I made ready and was not troubled that I might keep thy commandments. On the light, the world knew. of sinners entangled me, but thy law have I not forgotten. O vindictive people, murderous and corrupt, come behold the linen sheet of the risen Christ, and the face cloth which hath put you all to shame. At midnight I rose to give thanks unto thee for the judgments of thy righteousness. Come, O foul Disciple filled with murder and gall, show thou unto me the cause of thy wickedness, whereby thou dost prove a traitor to my cross. I am a partaker with all them that fear thee, and with them that keep thy commandments. Feigning love for mankind, for a prize thou dost sell, him that is the fragrance. Mercy, teach me thy statue. What price was thou given for the heavenly mer? What is the gain in return for the precious one? Oh, accursed Satan, frenzy is thy lot. Thou hast dealt graciously with thy servant, O Lord, according to thy word. If thou didst love poor man and didst truly regret, the mer put out from a soul as an offering, how for coins couldst thou sell him that taught forth life? Goodness and discipline and knowledge teach thou me, for in thy commandments have I believed. Word and God eternal. Teach me thy statutes. O ye hills and valleys, O ye mountains and dales, and the multitude of mankind we and lament, crying, Woe with me, the mother of our God. Multiplied against me hath been the unrighteousness of the proud, but as for me, with my whole heart will I search out thy commandments. When shall Like milk is their heart, but as for me, in thy law have I met it.
meditated. Though except in cutting as the chief cornerstone, yet our Savior as the wellspring of endless life, thou dost pour forth living water for all men. It is good for me that thou hast humbled me that I might learn thy statue. As from one spring Of ages, amen. Oh, 